Good morning, today is Tuesday, November 12th. For lunch today, there's pasta with meat sauce with steamed peas and garlic breadstick, or chicken Caesar salad, or crispy chicken nugget or cheeseburger on a bun. And we've got three birthdays today. Happy birthday to Patricia Irwin in the fifth grade, to Tayara Jones in the fourth grade, and to Mr. Baumgart. Hope you have a great day. So as you're driving along the highway to get up here, you'll see several signs that say historical marker ahead. And as you go ahead and pull in right at the beginning, here it is. So the reason the site is here is Corporal Mitchell Red Cloud was born just a few miles away from here in Hatfield. When Corporal Red Cloud was serving in the Korean conflict, he was stationed in North Korea and about the time the Chinese forces joined the fray and be able to start pouring into the country. So one evening, Corporal Red Cloud was serving as an advanced scout for his camp. It was his job to make sure that nobody could sneak up on the camp and catch them while they weren't ready. Well, a bunch of Chinese troops were trying to do exactly that. Um, Corporal Red Cloud was hit twice in the chest, but he kept directing his, tro his troops to get back, get back, let the camp know. At a certain point, Corporal Red Cloud recognized that he was done for, that he wasn't gonna survive this, but he didn't wanna make his sacrifice be in vain. He went ahead and leaned up against a tree and continued firing on the oncoming troops and said, and, and ordered everybody else to get back and take care of it. He actually had one of his men strap him to the tree so he didn't fall over, and he kept firing on the oncoming enemy at, in order to create even more time for his camp. Now, because of Corporal Red Cloud's sacrifice, there are people alive today who wouldn't be otherwise. His camp was able to get away, the ambush was averted, and he was able to go ahead and stand between them and disaster. For his heroism in saving his camp, Corporal Mitchell Red Cloud was awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor. So very fittingly, the name of Corporal Mitchell Red Cloud is held in honor, not just here in central Wisconsin, but around the United States and really around the world. This plaque of Corporal Mitchell Red Cloud sits in the Black River Falls Field of Honor. A similar statue can be found in Anadarko, Oklahoma, in an outdoor hall of fame honoring several Native American soldiers. In Fort Benning, Georgia, the active firing range has been named Red Cloud Range after him. In 1957, or seven years after Corporal Red Cloud's death, the main army base in Seoul, Korea was named Camp Red Cloud in his honor. He even has a ship named after him. In 1999, the Navy launched the USNS Red Cloud. The USNS Red Cloud is a vehicle cargo ship. In 2003, it was deployed to transport U.S. Army vehicles to Kuwait to support Operation Iraqi Freedom. So for those of us who are Ho-Chunk, what a great heritage to claim. This is a heritage of sacrifice, a heritage of bravery, a heritage of honor, of being able to stand up to be in harm's way for somebody else to do something they couldn't for themselves. But of course, you don't have to be Ho-Chunk to admire and appreciate the sacrifice Corporal Red Cloud made for us. And so if we keep pushing and sacrificing and growing like Corporal Red Cloud showed us, well, maybe we'll have the chance to be a hero for someone else when it becomes our turn. All right, take care.